You know, some people feel guilty in taking time out of work or their business. Some feel they don't deserve the privilege or deserve full stop in taking time out. They just want to keep going. Is this you? Do you feel like you need to keep going? Do you suffer from this at times where you feel guilty about taking time out from your work, from your team, from your business? Well, let's discuss. Welcome to Leadership is Changing. Each week, we and our guests provide information and insights through exploring leading change. This is taking your leadership to another level by finding the balance between executive excellence and personal well-being through stories that inspire real change. It's time to adapt in our fast-moving world when leadership is changing with your host, Dennis Giannoutsas. Welcome to the Ask Dennis Freestyle episode. Great to be with you. This is where I'm asked a question by our listeners, or I share my thoughts, insights, and experiences based on working with many leaders around the globe. I want to welcome you to today's episode, because you see, many leaders, entrepreneurs, don't want to take time out of their business, and it depends on, well, it's really down to various reasons. A, they don't have time, or they think they don't have time. B, too many things to get on with, and C... I've got emails, I've got meetings, and I've got deadlines. When am I going to actually take time out? You know what? There is no right or wrong time to take a break, to take some time out. A couple of weeks ago, I tested positive for COVID. For two years and six months, I've avoided it, and it finally got me. It's not a matter of if I'm going to get it. It's more of a matter of when will I get it. And I was fortunate enough to have mild symptoms. And in fact, I had the flu about eight weeks ago. And I felt that that was way worse than what I actually had in experience with COVID. So I'm very fortunate there. I do believe it comes down to the individual and what's going on for them that will determine the severity of their illness with COVID. I think there's all, there was a, a couple of other items that really helped me too. Uh, they actually helped me through that journey, if I can put it that way, or that experience. Number one would it be down to the vitamins that I was actually having and the supplements and the, 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 the things that were actually going to help me through actually with the COVID side of things. But I think the biggest help, to my, in my opinion, was giving myself permission to take time out. You know, maybe I could have tried to do meetings if I could, but of course... I couldn't go anywhere. I had to isolate. I wasn't able to get out and meet people face to face anyhow. So my meetings were cancelled and I took time out to do nothing. In fact, just rest. I slept a fair bit, drank many fluids in the sense of hot lemon and honey and ginger and a lot of water and again more vitamins. And uh, a few times I actually went out for a gentle walk just to get the lungs and the body moving um, throughout that whole period. Now, I could have been wound up, and this might be you too, where you get a little bit of wound up and frustrated that you can't get on to doing things at the time. But you know what? I deliberately decided to give myself permission to rest, relax, recover, and reset. And so... It's not only with the COVID scenario where we should give ourselves permission. It can actually apply to many aspects of our life and our business. Even right down to the things like wanting to excel in what you're doing or going for something like a massive goal. Giving yourself permission to go for it is one thing that you might want to think about. Some feel like they don't even deserve to succeed or they don't even deserve the right to actually go for a big goal or work on various things that they're wanting to excel at. I'm here to tell you that you should give yourself the permission. Allow yourself to go on, go for it. Allow yourself to focus on what you're wanting to do and where you're wanting to take things going forward. For a lot of us, sometimes it's we are the obstacle or the roadblock. We are the thing that gets in the way from us actually proceeding and actually wanting to go and do what we want to go and do. Now we need to change our thinking or our thoughts 
but then that will actually help us change our behaviors or our actions. Because you see, when we change our thoughts and our actions or our behavior, that's when we produce different results. Now, what do I mean by this? You know what? It even comes down to our language and that we use or our thoughts that we have going on between the six inches, as I call it, between our ears. In other words, in our mind. Give yourself permission to think differently and use different language. Now, what do I mean by using different language? You see, a lot of people will actually talk themselves into feeling down or that they won't be able to achieve certain things. But if they just change their language a little bit, just to sort of lift that language up a bit, just to actually think a little bit differently with the language in our thoughts, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Wow, wow, wow. You will see different results and you'll be surprised in what you're actually going to do. Because it's amazing when we do these two things alone, our thoughts and our language, how over days our actions and our results change to be a lot more positive. Now, you can change your thoughts and your language to be quite diminishing as well, quite negative. And that also has the same effect. So it goes either way, right? Positive or negative. Whatever your language and your thoughts are, then you need to think about what you're saying and thinking because you can actually help yourself there. But another big aspect is this, is giving yourself permission and doing things that will really serve you and the people around you. So whether you're going through COVID, whether you're going through an illness, whether you're going through just wanting to take time out, or whether you're wanting to go on a break. You know what? Take the time to give yourself the permission, the okay, to go ahead and do this. So then you can go actually out and relax and enjoy the journey, the break, the holiday, or whatever you're going through. I'm not saying that you can enjoy COVID, not saying that at all. What I am saying is, if you give yourself the permission to better go and do things, then it sort of just gets the frustration out of the way. It gets certain things out of the way. You know what? I took time out just to relax and just sleep a lot, as I said. But I also took time out to just sit there and think. Even took time out to watch some Netflix TV series just to get some comedy into, into, into the scenario for me to laugh and to actually change things in the way that I'm looking at things. And it was actually quite interesting to see how it went and how it progressed. But you know what? Giving yourself permission is one of the biggest things that you can do in today's world. Giving yourself permission, it's okay to take time out. And as I said before, it's never a right time or a wrong time. But just taking time out, giving yourself that permission to allow you to go and do certain things, that's okay. It's a bit like some people wanted to go and buy something that they wanted to do to, you know, spoil themselves. Sometimes they feel like they don't deserve it or they don't, they shouldn't buy it. Look, give yourself the permission to go ahead and do it. And if you go out ahead and buy the thing, then enjoy it. Um, that's what's, what's, what it's all about, team. It's about us working doing things in life, following our purposes, following on what we were wanting to do, to then be able to enjoy certain things as well. So I think even celebrating success or taking time out to recognize the work that we have done or our team has done, but giving yourself the permission to go ahead and do that is powerful. And so if you can think about something that you're wanting to do, but maybe being putting off for a little while, give yourself the permission to go ahead and do that. Hey listeners, it's a real pleasure in being with you on today's Ask Dennis Freestyle episode. Have fun in giving yourself that permission and doing what you wanted to go and do. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, bye for now. Thank you for listening to this episode of Leadership is Changing with your host, Dennis Giannoutsas. Each week, we and our guests provide information and insights through exploring leading change, inspiring executives and leaders to adapt and lead a bigger game in a fast-moving world. 